is the support for Israel outside the United States and other Western countries, is that eroding? That has been eroding for many years. For many years, it has been eroding. Um, uh, they, there still is a, um, there still is support in Europe um, that has been eroding, though, for decades. It's been hastened by YouTube and other platforms like that. Uh, when I was in Israel, when I was in uh, Palestine and Israel in 2017, talking to Europeans about this, uh, you know, they, they were clear that they see this on their screens in a way that we don't in the United States. And now we are, and you're seeing the results of that. Um, mm -hmm. You still have support for Israel within the governments, um, but that support is weakening. There's pressure coming on those governments, and those governments are not as protected and insulated from that type of pressure as the U.S. government is. Again, because of our structure of a with our legalized bribery system, so you see that uh, there's a push and a pull. Some nations in in Europe are much more forceful on this. Uh, Spain, uh, Ireland, you know, in the last week have said, we need to kick Israel out of our free trade agreement with the U European Union. Um, you know, then you have others uh, like Germany and uh, Britain that are still selling weapons. Um, I'll, I'll note that regardless, all these countries are still trading with Israel and there's still a lot of money being made. Uh, so that, of course, is the prime thing. But I think what you have as you have elections going forward over this next year or two in Europe is that political pressure will 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 increase. Just as you said, say say we saw in Germany, Germany in the last month had three state elections. And those elections saw one a far right party, the alternative for, for Germany, AFD, as well as a, a left party, uh, the BSW, uh, uh, the, the, the Sarah uh, uh, Wagenknecht Alliance, uh, do incredibly well, incredibly well against the governing coalition, as well as the main opposition party, the Christian Democrats. So if you, if, and where is that coming from? That's coming from a anger in the population at seeing their economies deteriorating, seeing their, their quality of life, their cost of living being overtaken because of policies that they feel their governments are following that benefit others. Some of this, like say the far right with the AFD, it's, it's you're giving all our stuff to these immigrants, right? And we see that here in the US, right? What's the biggest issue in this campaign? Immigration. But the, you know, but also too, you're also seeing this pushback of, of you're providing all this to Ukraine. You're providing all this to Israel. You're just going along with the American empire at our expense. And so that pressure you're starting to see, and, and, and even this new Labour government, which has started off in the UK in probably the worst manner of any party uh, I've seen <laughs> in a long time. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're they're um, you know they're you know uh, they are under this type of pressure, and so you've seen Labour concede things on Israel that the previous Tory government, the previous Conservative government, would never have done. Some of it's got to do with some of the Labour mindset, but most of it's got to do with pressure. And so you see in the European democracies an ability for there to be real pressure put on their governments in a way that we don't have here. And this is really, you know, a grand failing, a grand, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a real, a, 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 a real, um, hazard of our own democracy is that our government is not receptive to public pressure.